Thank you so much for joining, for your joining us today and interest in iSync product. This is the second international user group meeting. I'm Dave Gim, iSync Wave project leader and director of corporate research center of iMedisync. iSync Wave will be featured in the APA, American Psychiatrist, Psychiatrist Association TV at annual conference at New Orleans tomorrow. The Icing Wave APA film was just uploaded YouTube link today. I will share the link after this, uh, after this meeting. Uh, before jumping over today's topic, I'd like to briefly remind two central idea of first user group meeting. The first one is a schematic of iSync precision mental health platform for, from quick quality recording to AI analysis. The iSync Wave device send 19 channel EEG and PPG to tablet through Bluetooth connection. And then data are uploaded to the cloud through Wi-Fi after the recording. In the cloud, the data goes through automated AI denoising pipeline and then sensor and source level features are extracted and then compared to agent sex classified normative database. The data is also gone through biomarker analysis, quick EEG, HRV, biomarker, quick summary report can be reviewed on the iSync wave application within 10 minutes after recording. While detailed full report can also be reviewed on the website, I, today I will introduce detailed full report item on the iSync Brain web portal. The second, second one is the concept of the FFT frequency spectra of EEG and those of EEG phenotype using FFT frequency analysis, which could be efficient for understanding landscape of QED space with associating patient symptoms. The figure shows the conventional EEG spectra uh, having peak in alpha pre frequency band. The power decrease with frequency is normal pattern except alpha peak. Alpha is basic resting rhythm we can estimate lower frequency below alpha reflect more deep relaxation and upper frequency above alpha reflect more concentration. And alpha power usually is stronger in the back of the head because frontal lobe is busier in healthy normal, country, healthy normal condition. At this point, we, we can define two EEG phenotype. One is over arousal, the other is under arousal. The under arousal phenotype, alpha frequency decreased, alpha frequency decreased, and frontal alpha dominate compared to the posterior alpha. Finally, alpha rhythmicity disappear and theta rhythm appears, which is shown in peak frequency located in theta band instead of alpha band. All this pattern can be categorized as under arousal which often associated, associated with cognitive decline, degenerative disorder, developmental disorder, and et cetera. On the other hand, overall arousal phenotype, which is exact opposite direction, alpha frequency go higher, alpha desynchronized, beta spindle dominate, peak activities now in the beta band. These are often associated with the OCD, anxiety, worriness, insomnia, addiction, and it is, et cetera. I'd like to briefly add age dynamics of posterior alpha rhythm. The alpha peak frequency developed into adult range in early adolescent and decline in normal aging. But alpha frequency is slower than age relevant average in developmental disorder and cognitive decline in senior population, while, while alpha frequency is higher than norms in many overall phenotypes, such as PTSD, insomnia, busy brain, and et cetera. 
This slide shows two example case for the uh, close to over arousal phenotype and close to under arousal phenotype from quick summary report on ISYNC wave to band power topo map in this case. Band power topo map, we can see the band power topo map on the full report of ISYNC brand web portal. In this case, the high uh, beta band is quite deficient and slow alpha is uh, excessive and slow frontal alpha 2 is excessive compared to the normative database. The clinician use this ISYNC brain pool report, not, on this, not only this uh, quick report, clinician use this pool report on the web portal, which is seamlessly connected to ISYNC wave quick recording and summary report. Uh, today, it's Today, I'd like to introduce a functional description of ISYNC wave device and show a demo of ISYNC wave dry edge recording and then connected ISYNC wave, ISYNC brain pool report functionality, including individual analysis and norm comparison uh, will be discussed. And ISYNC wave, ISYNC brain AI and manual denoising process will be discussed which is crucial, crucial for the reliable QED report. At the same time, I think HART, HRV, heart rate variability, individual analysis and summary report will be briefly introduced, which is measured through PPG sensor at the right ear, uh, analyzed simultaneously with 19 channel EEG. Finally, I think brain R strong group statistics for QED researcher, including normative library will be covered in today's presentation. As a first part of the place today's topic, I'd like to describe standard process for I think wave measurement with some prerequisite information and give a I think wave quick, easy measurement demo. Uh, as a first step, I'd like to describe a uh, function of each part of ISYNC wave device respectively. The number one is reference electrode, is, which is common electronic reference for measuring 19 channel EEG as a voltage signal respectively. The number two is PPG sensor, uh, which, is, which measure heart rhythm simultaneously with 19 channel EEG. The number three is the USB-C charging port. And number four is power button. And pressing the power button for two seconds, the device is turned on. And then uh, after using the device, pressing the power button for two seconds, device will be turned off. During operation of the device, color of the power button indicate the battery status and battery charged below 30%, a green color turned to magenta, uh, which reflect the necessity of the charging. When USB-C is connected, plugged, the device can be charged. The color remained in magenta until battery level cannot reach 95%. The number five is electrode, brush and flat electrode. In the center of the each electrode, there is an LED for photobiomodulation. I think we follow international standard 10, 20 standardized uh, electrode location. There are 19 channel EEG with a reference channel in the left, left ear, ear lobe and ground channel uh, in in the center of the pore head. In the pore head, flat electrodes are placed while brush electrodes are placed except pore head area for penetrating hair and making electric contact with the skirt. The white area is AGACL is coated on conductive polymer uh, for contact surfaces of each electrode uh, respectively. 
The number six is a chin strap, and number seven is a tool for height control, especially for ch children brain, and replacing tool for brush electrode. The iSync Wave device is controlled by app by app from Google Play Store. The name of app also iSync Wave. When Android tablet is ready, you can download the app. Uh, and it will automatically install on the tablet. And there is another app titled I think B is a personal app where any client can download the app on the personal smart device and monitor their uh, their own I think wave recording history and summary result history, therapy history, and keep tracking of progress of their mental health condition with, with their doctor. The minimum memory requirement for stable iSync wave operation is Android tablet with four gigabyte RAM, but six gigabyte RAM will be more stable for long-term recording over 10 minutes. The tablet OS for optimized iSync wave operation is Android uh, version 11. Uh, Android version uh, can be checked under the ta tablet setting. This is the tablet setting menu. There is about tablet. In the about tablet, there is a software information. In the information, you can find the Android OS. Android o version 11 is uh, optimized for the iSync wave operation. The Wi-Fi upload and download speed over 10 megabps are recommended for stable communication with the cloud. Uh, before a demo of I think of wave measurement, I urge you to get familiar with this nomenclature of standard 19 channel. FP is representing prefrontal, F is representing frontal, T is representing temporal, P is parietal, C is central, O is Oxpital, the mid line use Z, G, and red left hemisphere use odd number, and right hemisphere use uh, even number. At the ground is placed at the center of the forehead, FPG, reference is placed at the left earlobe, A1, and PPG is placed at the right earlobe. I'd like to recommend you to use loop prep, loop prep, both ground and reference for making a quality easy signal more efficiently. Uh, here is a conventional measurement process. If you wear earring, remove the earring before the measurement. Clean all the cosmetics, cosmetics on the forehead and apply abrasive gel loop prep on the ground and wrap the ear. Uh, left yellow, uh, as I mentioned before, and then wear a headset and place the forehead line one finger above the eyebrow and place the temporal line uh, one finger above the uh, ear flap. And finally, fasten the chin strap gently and gently pushing all the electrode area and place eye in the downward direction, not the not a upward direction. Uh, that uh, place place uh, eye direction on the above direction upward, make open making the frowning forehead muscle. So uh, place uh, place eye direction not on the above, and place the neck in the comfortable position. Mm not to make neck muscle activity. Keep comfortable sit po sit sitting position during easy recording, but keep away from the drowsy status. Before easy recording, please check the setting menu for choosing measurement time and notch filter setting. The easy measurement time can be chosen with two cycle combination of eye close and eye open. The notch filter, either 50 or 60 hertz, will be automatically set using the GPS information. I'd like to demo my own ease recording using iSync Wave at, 
at the moment. Now I'd like to share my uh, I'd like to share my uh, another screen at the moment. This is the basic uh, introduction for the async web recording. Now I'd like to share my tablet screen here. Can you see the tablet screen where? Okay. Yes, well, I can see, but yes. Thank you. And now I'd like to start. Yes, all good. Yes. The first, first, uh, when he, uh, when he, uh, when he executes the Async wave, wave application, there is two menu, easy measurement and LED therapy. Click the easy measurement. We can register new patient using this menu uh, in the returning we can uh, use the already registered uh, patient. I simply start my own recording and usually connect the device. After turn on the device, and the connect the device through the Bluetooth connection. And uh, I have to uh, do prep again for the educational purpose. I just do prep, but I'd like to do prep again in the ground area. There's a do prep. The ground is very important for quality recording. And in the left ear is also very important for the quality recording. So I always prep these two area with loop prep for the quality recording. And then simply wear the headset like this. I place the forehead, the one finger above the eyebrow and place the uh, temporal line is also one finger above the eyebrow, uh, ear flap. And uh, gently pushing all the area and then I connect the PPG sensor like this. And the reference sensor like this. And gently fasten the wind, fasten the headset like this. And then we can. Uh, and then, Yeah. And then we can uh, start the impedance measurement like this. There is a yellow and green, green color, green, yellow and green uh, usually gives us a good signal and red uh, usually uh, gives us a uh, bad signal, I'd like to gently push the yellow area like this.
And then I can check the signal quality at this moment. This, this is the EEG signal. Uh, this is the PPG signal. And if you want to, if you do not satisfy the signal quality, we can go back to the impedance measurement screen and uh, start the impedance again like this. Usually uh, it takes a little time. A time, when the time goes, the impedance is getting lower because the uh, tiny small sweat, tiny sweat can be generated usually make the impedance more, uh, more, more smaller. So uh, the, the, the impedance is more, more stable now. And we can check the signal quality again. Okay, that's the signal quality. And if we satisfy the signal quality, and we can go to the recording. Okay, and then we can, uh, I'd like to check the, check the uh, setting, the time setting. Now I choose the two minute eyes close recording. I'd like to start two minute eyes close. Checking impedance once more, and then I'd like to start two minutes eyes closed recording. After the recording, I will uh, I will analyze uh, the EEG data on the web portal. Sometimes we can use this vibration function. Now the signal is more stabilized. I can skip the signal check and start the eyes close measurement. And I, this is eye movement. When I close my eyes, the alpha appeared. When I open my eye, the alpha is disappeared. The horizontal eye movement and eye blinking. When I close my eye again, then alpha appeared. That's the EEG.
Then I open my eye. The eye movement appears. When I close my eyes, the alpha activity starts again. This is the EEG, quick EEG recording, and we can review the full analysis on the iSync brain web portal after this recording. The old recording is finished. This is not for the uh, exact exact report for just for the uh, demonstration of quick easy measurement. We can display the easy signal here and we can go for, go further. This is the easy signal. We can adjust the signal amplitude like this and we can select the montage, common average. Sometimes we can select the montage or longitudinal. There is another montage here. This is the uh, basic uh, signal review. And we can go jump to the uh, second part of the today's presentation.